Hey everyone, Lance here again for the Tech Me Show podcast. And I'm broadcasting live. Uh, it's 2-18-2013. Uh, it's 12.37 a.m. And uh, the podcast is a little later than normally. Uh, I record. Uh, normally, uh, we would have ended by now. Um, and it would have actually started on Sunday. But it is Monday, and, uh, well, CISPA is coming. Now, you might be asking, Lance, I've heard CISPA, but what is it again? Well, it's the Cyber Intelligence Sharing uh, and Protection Act, a.k.a. bullshit. Okay. This is a crock of shit. Just like SOPA, it was a crock of shit. Now, the idea behind it is okay. However, it's so vague, and we don't know exactly where it starts and where it stops. Basically, this act um, allows, basically, companies in your ISP and uh, basically all your civil and privacy is kind of out the door. Why? Because... uh, Companies like Microsoft or Google and uh, what have you uh, would like to share information with the government and anonymously. Now, they'll go and tell you that, oh, this is uh, to help uh, your individual's internet browsing uh, and basically monitor it, which is true. They will monitor it, and they're trying to say it's uh, basically not to spy on the general public and strictly just hackers. Well, Microsoft, Facebook, and the U.S. uh, Chamber of Commerce, um, (laughs) how dare you? What is wrong with you people? This cyber threat crap you want to share with the government? You want to share these hacks and whatnot that uh, supposedly occur and you guys want to share it all together? Well, I'm sorry. That is stupid. I like the idea in a way, but anonymously, no. Without permission of from us, the people, no. Now, you're trying to tell us it's just for malicious hacks and for hackers, they need to be the ones worried and what have you. No. Anytime you're trying to strengthen digital privacy, especially the laws themselves, <laughs> like SOPA, for instance, it was unpopular, and it should be, because it was about intellectual property, IP, or, you know, patents and uh, software or music uh, being illegally shared or downloaded. The problem is, how do you know what is okay and what is not? That means an ISP basically needs to suck onto your packets and read the packets and decipher it, which really isn't difficult for them. They can do this easy, except... If they try to do this to us, people, we all will fight back. I guarantee you more people will be using the Tor project, which allows you to anonymously uh, uh, surf the web. And I hope you're already using it. Uh, They even have a browser uh, that's uh, basically hacked, but no, it's basically set up to uh, have all the... Basically, no script, uh, HTTPS everywhere, and the Tor button, etc. To give you the best uh, privacy uh, you can get uh, with um, Mozilla Firefox. And it's mobile, and it won't even have to save to your computer. You can run it from a USB stick, and I have, and it runs quite quick. Now, originally the legislation was uh, brought in November uh, 30th. Uh, 2011, uh, and uh, Representative Michael uh, Rogers, uh, Republican, <laughs> and uh, uh, basically he thought, well, we'll pass it in the House of Representatives, and that happened in April 20, uh, 26, uh, 2012, when more people started hearing about it. Um, and if you remember, Obama, you know, was arguing, saying, no, the bill lacks confidentiality, civil liberties, safeguards, and blah, 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 blah. And because of the result of all of us from the internet going after it, they vetoed it. And the president acted like he was going to do it the whole time. Now, I'll be honest, I was fighting for President Obama to be reelected. Hmm. Boy, is he really screwing up. He has become a war criminal, just like Bush was. And, uh, it's very sad. 
Um, it's just really sad what they're going to be doing if this does happen. The CISPA uh, is basically an amendment uh, from the uh, NSA uh, from 1947. Uh, it doesn't currently contain any provisions to cybercrime or anything like that. So because of that, uh, that's why they're trying to really pass CISPA, to try and get the whole cyber threat and cyber threat intelligence to prevent uh, hacks uh, occurring for websites or governments or whatever. Let's be honest. That's a bunch of BS. Maybe it's a little bit true, but to what extent? Um, they could give information like IP information, meaning intellectual property, like if you downloaded uh, something illegally, or um, uh, PII, uh, personal uh, identified uh, information. Now, basically, if this gets passed, we should all be uh, heading out of America. This is ridiculous. The fact that a private sector uh, could be encouraged um, to share their intelligence about you with basically the director of national intelligence, which is a stupid, horrible idea. Um, which I still think to date, uh, the government should have a sector of real computer and science, uh, well, real computer and science, uh, laws and, uh, agencies to help them, but not based off of old men who don't even know how to email. Um, and hear about, oh, we gotta, you know, stop uh, photoshopping, that's a new one. Uh, one elected official is trying to ban photoshopping, where you could be fined a thousand bucks um, for photoshopping somebody, which to me is mind-boggling. What is going on in this country? I don't get it. I know politics is what's killing us. Uh, I support Wolfpack, and I hope you do too. We're trying to get money out of politics, uh, which is in conjunction with uh, the Young Turks. Um, but basically, the CISPA, CISPA 2.0 has not been modified from the last time, uh, or that we can tell, or we'll really know. I'm really hoping the Obama administration doesn't put an executive uh, order on it and uh, sign it in. Um it really needs to be redesigned if they're really going to do it. Um, and it does, it should have other people's input. Not the people in... Uh, well, basically... Um, hmm, the government. Now you might be asking, Well, Lance, it's got to be the government. Well, does it? We can't wait as a uh, government uh, to give private companies who pay us a lot of money for allowing them to get uh, projects and uh, bills and whatnot uh, taken care of. Um, even Microsoft is to blame, Facebook, etc. Uh, you know, it's just getting sick. And now Facebook uh, CEO uh, Mark Zuckerberg is even uh, paying for rallies uh, for politics, which is very scary. Uh, it's just... What's going on in the web? I mean, nobody's doing any research and development to really think about CISPA and modify it properly. If Aaron Schwartz was around, I think he'd be quite upset as well. Um, and I think uh, Rainy Retman of the uh, Electronic Frontier uh, Foundation, he claims, and let me quote this, <clears throat> To date, the authors of the bill have been unresponsive to these criticisms, offering amendments that are largely cosmetic, dismissing, dismissing the grave concerns about how this bill could undermine the core privacy rights of everyday Internet users. Rep. Mike Rogers characterized the growing protests against this as turbulence and vowed to push for a floor uh, vote without radical change. Sick, right? It's just sick. This rep, uh, Mike Rogers, I hope he's up uh, shortly to get his ass out of uh, government. What these guys 
guys don't realize, they're all going to be up for re-election soon. You mess with us, we're not going to vote for you. It's simple as that. We will rally. We will get together and rally against you schmucks. You fuck with their internet, you're fucking with the wrong people. You don't know who's out there. You don't know who controls your TV, your internet, your power grids, and who can. You don't understand that you want us to make sure our Facebook information is proper. Otherwise, we can be fined or go to jail because it's not up to your par. Because we lied. It's the internet. We lie. We cheat. Forgive it or get the fuck off. Don't like it? Don't like the comments? Oh well. Don't use it. Simple. It's just horrible to think that the House voting counts, you know? I know uh, the Democrats, uh, it was a 42 yes, uh, 140 no, thank God. And uh, eight of them didn't even vote. That means most likely they're so damn old or they're probably up for a re-election and didn't want to chance it, maybe. And Republican, 206, and uh, 28 uh, said no. And 7 did not vote. Two hundred and six Republicans and only forty two Democrats. What kind of sweetheart deal are they getting to vote? Democrats, they're not real Democrats anymore. It's kind of a joke. Republicans, they're not even real Republicans. You know, it's just it's hard to even think about, you know? Especially when you wanna boycott the people trying to support it, like um, the CTIA, uh, the Information Technology Industry Council, uh, the Internet Security Alliance, National Cable and Telecom uh, Association, uh, the National Defense and Industrial Association, Symantec, Oracle, Verizon, IBM, Facebook, at and uh, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, Tech America, and Google has not taken a public position on the bill, which scares me. They should be on their side. In fact, they have a whole little group, which I'm part of, to help prevent this type of stuff and keep the internet open. Question is, will they be helping us this time? Maybe not. And probably not because they make their money off of, well, information you provide. Or rather, they steal from you while you're using their services. So the more information they can get, the better. Not only that, if you didn't know, uh, Google goes out and shows um, how much the government requests this or that and what have you. So, it's hard to say. Um, and I really think uh, it, this is awful. You guys need to fight. We all need to fight. Um, and Russia today even said, uh, this is worse than SOPA. True. Pretty bad when Russia, or Russian source rather, uh, also thinks this is bad. And Tim Berners-Lee, the inventor of the World Wide Web, he obviously expressed opposition to the bill. Um, he says it's threatening the rights uh, uh, to Americans. Uh, even though, you know, SOPA and PIPA uh, were s stopped by the whole country here, and other countries, uh, you know, were notified and tried to help us too. But uh, it's amazing how the government, uh, he claims, uh, was to come back with a new, different uh, threat to rights. And he's right. It is a threat to our rights. It's fucking disgusting, okay? It's just disgusting. Um, and even uh, Republican uh, Ron Paul, uh, you know, the guy from Texas who tried to <laughs> uh, become president, which I maybe would have even voted for him. Uh, but he, he understands privacy. You know, one of the very few uh, uh, people in, uh, who's a Republican. Um, and he thinks it's a whole Big Brother thing. Um, and uh, Jake Uger 
from the Young Turks. He uh, even backed up uh, Ron Paul, and uh, he, he did a whole highlight about it and talked about Mike Rogers' speech and the bill and how it will help businesses. And You should definitely check it out. And I just want people to understand that this is not what we need right now. We need an open and free web. You cannot do this to us and think you will get away with it. There will be a riot. There will absolutely be a riot. And if the government wants to be on the other side, not smart. They don't have the geniuses. If they did, we'd never know about these bills. But they don't. And we all have each other who are tech people. And some of us can do amazing things as we've seen over the years. And I think it's going to get to that point. That it's time to go full throttle. And I think that is exactly what's going to happen. They're expecting a world of hell. And that's what they're going to get. Sharing this information? Mm -mm. But, anyways, I won't talk any more about CISPA. And, uh, and I'm sorry, this is a downer video. It just really gets me down thinking about this. Um, it's just sad that these people just don't get what we have and what we're doing. You know, these big businesses are paying the government just share information and all that crap. It's basically cyber uh, espionage, if you ask me. Um, we don't have rights anymore in America. We've lost them. They have drones going around in other countries. How long till our country? Especially when your next door neighbor can go buy like, the parrot drone. Has a camera. Some of them are doing 4K with the GoPro. We're in trouble, people. You gotta fight. Stand up against CISPA. Make a video. Don't make a video. Tell people. Share a video. Get people informed that we must fight again. I look forward to seeing you all fight. So, have a good day. Sorry for, or good night, whatever. Um, sorry to really bum you out. But, CISPA... Let's get it the fuck out of here. Let's go, people.